I go live on Instagram and Facebook. And I read my own version of tarot. So let me see what the hell is going on. Ooh. Yes, yes, all of this is good. You shooting shots and you making your dreams come true. I am an experience is what I am. Dabbles don't got no teeth. No teeth, no teeth, no teeth, no teeth. Dabbles don't got no teeth. I don't have breasts. 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 I don't Intuitive reader extraordinaire to the celebrities and social media phenomenon. And we have one here in the reading room today by the name of Lynn. By the name of, not lame, honey, she ain't never lame. By the name of Lynn Spirit. Introduce yourself, Lynn. Well, I am Lynn Spirit, y'all. Y'all always know, whatever. Um, sensation, internet star. Um, um, very inspiration, motivation. Constipation. Uh, all that. And keep it real, give you the real dog and raw dog. Wild out, you got to strap up around here. That part. That part. Okay, so first and foremost, I want to thank everybody who's new here. I am a psychic reader, and what we're going to do is look at your comments. In accordance to the question that you asked me, I will intuitively read you. I'm very good at what I do, and the receipts do not lie. Lynn, what did you feel when you first found out that I read tarot and that I was a psychic? Because we've known each other for about a good 10 yeah. plus years. Well, from same, um, um, same city, whatever. We are. Bro. Uh, I was like, wow, you know, I remember you posted your first video when you was going to L.A. Mm -hmm. I remember that, you mm -hmm. know. And I was like, oh, baby girl is going to do her thing. <laughs> you know, she's, she's taking off. Yes. You know, I was like, wow, that, that moment. That, that, to me, that was your moment. That, that was it. That was your moment in your time. Because it was good to for people, I guess, in Greensboro and in Charlotte, North Carolina to see that somebody can make that transition. You know what I'm saying? Because for people who live in Greensboro, that's where I went to college. I'm originally from Charlotte, North Carolina, which is where we are now. Mm -hmm. um, but in Greensboro, it's not, I'm not going to say it's a hopeless vibe, but nobody has ever seen anybody from Greensboro do anything but stay in 
in Greensboro and become a Greensboro celebrity. Yeah. So, I mean, don't, the only person I know that's, that, that's, that left was D.L. D.L. And Terrence, um, Terrence J. from um, Oh, yeah, he was from Greensboro. Yeah, yeah, he was, um, he was well, the A.T. Uh, you think he fine? Mm -hmm. I can do without. I let him hit. Oh. I can do without. I need him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, honey, with your following, it seems like you can pull him. So when your following started growing and things of that nature, and we're just going to have a little dialogue before we get started. Okay. Um, but, you know, b before your following came up or whatever, and it started going up gradually, what did you feel? How did you process that information? Are you just being yourself out here? Are you putting on for the cameras? Uh, talk to the people about your actual come up. Like, when well, did it start happening? When I, when I was coming up, whatever, I was more thinking myself, whatever. Um, actually, my manager, you know, he taught me, whatever. Uh, thanks to Ratchet TV and uh, okay. Inside the Media. Uh, they found me or whatever. And, you know, they, they really helped me a lot. They they really did help me a so lot. So they, like, I'm, groomed you for me. what's happening now. And they, yeah, mm -hmm. they have, you know, and uh, they're just so grateful to me. I'm, I appreciate them so much for really helping me to become who I am more. Okay. You know, so it's just a blessing, you know, that you really have people out there that really want to see See, see, you believe, do well. see you do well and believe in you. And so. that is a, I guess you can say, an androgynous or, you know, um, most Ratchet guys. TV, okay? There he is. Hey, yeah. Ratchet TV, how y'all doing? Um, but to be gender non-conforming like we are, mm -hmm. you know, it is definitely pivotal to partner with people who can say, I can see past mm -hmm. who you present yourself as and I can see what you're actually capable of. I'll be honest with you in saying that, like, from back in the day until now, I honestly did not know how big you had gotten mm -hmm. until that day at the Queen's Court with right. you. And when we did that video and you posted it on your channel, I mean, I knew the followers were there. I knew that you had an audience, but it was like, Lil Lynn is doing all of this? Right. Lil Lynn is doing all of this. <laughs> and I'm so proud of you. Right. Very, very proud of you. Okay, so let's go ahead and start, I guess, with the readings real quick, and then we're going to get into a topic, which is clout chasing. Are you hungry? Because I said I was going to order you some food, Chase. Um... It got to be vegan, though. I know. That's what I was saying. I like, I went to the grocery store and picked up some wine, and I was like, I'm about to get some damn hors d'oeuvres, but what the hell y'all people eat? Y'all eat grass um, and nuts? And <laughs> Um, if they if you can order me some some broccoli that's that's well done, you want me to order you some well done broccoli? It has to be well well done, like for me to chew it and stuff. Give me broccoli emojis. <laughs> um, well done broccoli. Okay, that well done broccoli is gonna go with my medium well steak from the Five Birds. Okay. Okay. Um, do you want some like mushroom caps or something? Um, if they got broccoli and rice, is good. Broccoli and rice. Mm hmm. Broccoli and rice is good. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Where the fuck? Where you from the same area? No. <laughs> Girl, they do that shit over there on the West Coast. Girl, we from North Carolina. You okay. Know, when we it, cook it, the damn fat back, the crawfish, the goddamn fried chicken, the chitterlings, the really, rice, the gravy, the onions, the potato salad. You can't forget the damn lobster, the crab yeah. legs, the Alaskan crab legs, the blue crab legs. You got to eat legs. What the hell? Don't get me wrong. I miss all that stuff, but I'm in a new path of my life. I just want to just. Let change. me teach you something about this show. Grab that black thing right there. <laughs> and this is mine right here. This is called the gavel. Okay. okay. And if somebody is out of order, you pound it. You pounding that for your damn self because okay. not eating no damn meat is out of order. Okay? I, I'm just kidding. I respect the lifestyle seriously. It is a healthier choice. You know, we just want to live longer. And is it proven that eating berries and meat is going to, I mean, berries and nuts is going to do that? Well, I have lost a lot of weight. You, you know, gotta educate me, child. So, now, I know. do know from a spiritual perspective, what you put in your body produces the energy that your body generates to right. execute your task in the world. And when you fuel it with something that is more nutritional, mm -hmm. you feel better about the task that you're executing. But I will say this. It's gonna be a cold day in Haiti before this nigga don't put no damn crab in his mouth right along with that dick. Right. Give me some smoke. That's the only meat I eat. <laughs> You are a mess. Okay, so before I start reading your people, my people, and all the people that are across the land, I just want to address my people really quickly. Sessions are not available. I am on a hiatus. I'm going to LA on Monday for the BET Awards and the BET Experience. And I might invite my friend to, to go. A light, that's a lifetime experience. You want to go? For anybody. Give me a thumbs up if I should bring Lynn with me. That's a I think we should. I think we should go. My hairstylist is going to go. Um, and you come with some coin, I make sure that you get there and get back. Yeah. We're we, we going to crash it. And I feel like with your presence, we can do some 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 pretty cool yeah, stuff. Yeah, my, my, my man. And it's like, you, you need to be there, you know? I think we should. I need a PR. If you're PR, I'm looking for you. You're looking for me? I'm not a PR, honey. I only, <laughs> I only, I only market my goddamn stuff. I'll be honest with you. I'm good at that, honey. I can't market nobody else unless you're trying to get on Pornhub. Right. <laughs> you trying to get on Pornhub? Now, I think you eat that pickle, honey. We can make some money. I'm already on Grindr. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right. Now, with that being said, um, I preface this. The tip jar is not open as of right now. This is absolutely free. It is Fan Friday around my way. If you're not following me, it's at B-O-O-T-Z-T-A-R-O-T. -O -O Again, I've read the likes of Meg Thee Stallion, Safari. Um, I've read uh, Gwen Stefani on the low. I have a whole bunch of private celebrity clients as well. Quad from Married to Medicine was one of my clients as well. Um, Azian, who's a Grammy Award winning songwriter, she is one of my clients as well. Um, and there are a number of individuals who come to me on the low for their guidance. And I think Lynn has been one of them secretively. Something is telling me that you've asked me a question before in my live video and I didn't know who you was. I did? You did. I asked a question. Did you ask me a psychic question on my live video and I didn't know who you was? Yeah, I did. It was a while I back. I felt like you did. It was a while back. I sure did. Um, uh -huh. I remember books was like, uh, give me the butterflies. Mm -hmm. And I gave him butterflies. That too. was way back in season one of my online show. Yeah, you said give me butterflies to know something. That you're new. Yeah. And that you haven't been read by me before. Yeah. So we're going to go with that same concept. Give me cherry emojis if your spiritual cherry needs to be popped. What we are going to do is we're going to minutely ritualize really quickly. And I'm going to adjust this camera angle. Lynn has prepared. Lynn, shout out to your cauldron. Lynn has prepared her own individualistic cauldron here. It is full of dried rose petals. And it looks like that is raspberry leaf and lavender that is inside. I show all the cameras, show all the cameras. Beautiful. And we are going to burn it. And when you burn herbs, you attune it to the individual that gives you your gift. I assume that she's going to attune hers to Jesus. Yes. I am attuning mine to a personal deity, an ancestor of mine, that being my grandmother, Lillian Roberts. Give me prayer hands for rest and peace. She is doing well over there in heaven. And my uncle. And your uncle's up there? Yeah. Okay, what's his name? Uh, Marcus. Marcus as well. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we're going to burn these. We're just going to hold these. And first, we're going to play some music. Um, this is my song, Mr. Benjamin. You got anybody can? You, you want somebody to, um, you want us to open up somebody? My brother. Your brother, what's his Amen. name? Laquan Brown. Laquan Brown, okay. And before we do that, tell me your opinion about the occult and I guess uh, individuals who read and things of that nature. Are you one of those believers who uh, has, uh, you know, you attune yourself to something and you respect everybody else's belief system? Are you curious yeah. about psychic ability? or? Um, No, not at this point because I, I, I had a, I actually had a spiritual reader who reached out to me. Okay. You know, and she's like, I have a, she said, she was, she was like one of those like, I thought like God has delivered a message to me, whatever I had to tell you. Mm -hmm. And she actually saved my life, you know. Beautiful. Know, just telling me the words, and it, it really saved my life a lot. It and, did. At the time, in that moment, I was really going through the depression mm -hmm. and just a lot of just a lot of dark clouds. So okay. She really saved my life. And she lifted that cloud. And she we do have cloud. the ability to do that, and I'm glad that you are open and, and honest with us. And I think that. I really needed her in my life because she lifted my clouds so much. She mm -hmm. removed a lot of snakes that was in my with, that was coming my way. And you know, snakes have pretty teeth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she she called me. She was like, Lynn, you got a snake that's in your way. You need to remove that snake out. And mm -hmm. damn sure I moved that bitch out the way. Out the way, and you've been... <laughs> and you've been thriving ever since. Ever since. All right, so we're going to play my song off my latest album, Mr. Benjamin, really quickly. We're going to burn these. I'm going to shuffle up. We're also going to talk in this mirror because I do believe that talking... This mirror is also enchanted, but... Um, and, and for my followers, you know, I always say them give me purple hearts. Purple like, hearts? Purple hearts is, is royalty and love and... And just so many great things. Beautiful. Okay, purple hearts all around while we do this. Um, and then we will go ahead down here and start reading the girls, okay? Okay, so, I will write your TV. You, we gotta <laughs> read them. <laughs> okay, cool. So this is Mr. Benjamin by myself. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna fix that angle. We're gonna ritualize really quickly. And while we do that, give me purple heart emojis all the way around. And if you are watching from the Boost Tarot Arena, welcome Lynn Spirit to the show. Give us one minute. We'll be right back with you. Hey, 
trying to make swag. I'm gonna take my swag. I'm gonna go and pull up my I'm gonna see you when I was a little bit of color. I know what it was. I know what it was. Thank you, guys. We got best friend here. Best friend in town. He's coming on you, though. I'm because I stay on my toes. I tell me I'm because I'm never kissing these hoes. I'm because I stay on my toes. I tell me I'm because I'm never kissing these hoes. I'm because I stay on my toes. I tell me I'm because I'm never kissing these hoes. I'm because I stay on my toes. I all right, all right, all right. So what we're gonna do is pull you guys up on the monitor over here on my Facebook, so I can see your comments that are that will be scrolling. Best friend, if you don't mind doing me a favor, uh, pull up Lynn's live video, and if you don't mind shooting some questions out, that would be absolutely great. And you can sit right here, friend. She's also gonna get a reading um, as well today. I'm gonna give her a free one. Best friend, that's my best friend. Go, that's best, best friend. Go, best friend. Go. Best friend. Go. Hey, 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 this, hey. This has been down with me from day one. Yes, honey. And that's honey. And you gotta keep those close as you rise. I'm and learning that very, very. One. I'm learning that very deep. To the they kept me come out as well and be more of me. Come like, out the motherfucking closet. No, like be more like fuck these niggas. Oh, that's my best friend. Always been like that. Fuck well, these well, cheers to <laughs> fucking niggas, honey. Okay, so let's go ahead down here and get started. We are gonna move fairly quickly. Um, if I shoot the body, I'm like best friend. Give me one. Just shoot out a question for me. Lean if you want to lean up and talk to your people. You're more than welcome to do so. Okay. Instagram, I can see you guys vividly. I see your hearts and your cherries. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, boots. Hey, Lynn, love uh, reading, please. No, like be more like fuck these niggas. Oh. <laughs> well, that's what she said. Hold on. That was Love Life for Ziri over here on my Facebook page. We are going to pull three cards really quickly. Let me get myself together. Purple here. heart, if you guys want me know. Oh, Red hearts for boots. There we go. All right, your love life is a work in progress right now. Do not expect any surprises. The flatter half card shows up in reverse right here, too. So I think you've been waiting on somebody to come back and pop up into your livelihood. And they ain't coming to pop back up no time soon, honey. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to be the connector of that energy. You're going to have to reach out and bond that energy like the glue on Lynn's wig is bonded. Correct? Boots. Boots. Give me one, best friend. General reading. General reading from who? Yohanna, hey girl, how you doing? Let, ooh, let's see uh -oh. what's going on. Get that from the floor and see what Yohanna's card was. That's for you. Okay. Oh, okay, let's see what this is. This is the Bootstopia card, which is a card of home. That is a new foundation being started by the Hexwester energy, which is the energy of partnership. I think you're partnering with somebody right now. I think you might be a little bit nervous about the execution of the endeavors that you partner with that person with. This is saying, do not be weary. I think you've been burned in the past by individuals that you partnered with and it didn't come out as a lucrative result. This is a lucrative result, especially because you got Light Fae right here. And what's Light Fae look like, Lynn? Like a diamond. Diamonds in the motherfucking... Sky. Yo, Poonani. That's what I'm talking about. Give me one, Lynn. Get one of your people up here that you Okay, know. who would like to go? Who would like to go in my... in my? Give me Purple Hearts if you would like to know your reading. And why she do that? Somebody up there said, well, my dad get out of jail. Alicia Sharia. Tell me who you want me read by. The Emerald card is up, right? That is a card of getting out of jail. No shade. Okay, and tell me your reading. They need to ask a question. Yeah, question. Put a Purple Heart in your question. Okay. Purple Heart in your General question. General reading down here for Blessed. Uh, somebody down there on... Um, my Instagram. The totem card shows up upright. What was lost from you will be returned to you. Maybe not by way of the source, but it will be coming back to you. And I estimate that this is happening before August of 2019. Okay? Period. Say what? Put a put one purple heart in your question. Okay? Okay, yeah. We need questions from your yeah. people. One, um, what's she saying? She said... It's our future right. It's our future right. That's a matter of opinion. I can read the energy and tell you what the future is going to be. One. The lust card is in reverse, so you, your horny ass is going to get some dick. The mezzanine card is also upright. Also, that's not directly how that's interpreted. My people understand my language. It means that you have a desire that is going to be fulfilled and is currently being fulfilled as of right now. Mezzanine being upright is a card of transitioning into the light. It looks like this light at the end of the tunnel, correct? Okay, yeah. So, basically, it's almost like I've wanted this for so long and it's finally here. Mm -hmm. And I will be prepared and because I've been conditioned by my experiences to receive. I give this three months. Going into September, you will have a state of victoriousness around you where you're going to consider yourself a winner. When did you have that moment? Was this like your first viral moment or was it something Oh, man, different? I had I had two 
viral moments. Two I moments. Went, well, multiple viral moments. Okay. Really. But the, the, the biggest one was two. Two. I lost one and the second one came back. And the second one came back through. And were you prepared the second time around? I was prepared for the second time. It's the same thing with everybody. Like, you know, you fall on your face on the execution of a mission one time, you get back up and you execute. And obviously, with your cards, you're executing in the right game. Mm -hmm. Hey! All right, let's come over here to my Facebook real quick, see what's going on. Will I get my kids back for Sade Washington? The Rumans card shows up in reverse. That is a delay. In, yeah, in reverse. Rumans. Rumans. Um, oh, girl. Oh. Um, I'm still working on how to say no. Uh, no. You won't get your kids back, girl. So keep, let me see what we can do to change. Keep in prayer. Dad. Keep in prayer. It ain't, these looking, cars is bad. it ain't looking good. Girl. You can tell, right? Just it by the look of the yeah. cars. It's a more of a darker aesthetic down here. You got a lot of work to do. I, I feel like we're going to have to do some type of like going to the damn repo man, getting the car back first. We got to start from ground zero because this energy you're trying to get there back with is not going to usher. She's going to have to change her life. You got to change. Yeah. You got to make a, you gotta make a That's shift. It. That's it. She got to get that black cow and my cloud over. From, uh, from over her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If somebody asking my pregnant now, Boots, um, the Sheba card is upright. You're damn right, and that plan B did not work. She should know her pussy. I know. Well, you know, I don't know, because, you know, I don't know my pussy half the time. You know, sometimes mm -hmm. I be fondling my balls underneath the thing, and my pussy say, how you doing? <laughs> and I don't be ready. I don't be ready. I be reading the Pope or some <laughs> shit. And it reminds me of best friend. She be like, how? That's a mess. <laughs> okay. <laughs> give me one of your people in. A best okay. friend, give me one. Mm. You don't mind, best friend? Yeah. Okay. 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 The relationship I'm in right now, will it get better? This Megan's is for who? Life. Megan's life on Instagram. Megan's life. Hey, Megan's life, how you doing? Okay, the lust card is all consistently coming up today. What that card look like? Moody, Moody, don't call me. Moody, don't be calling. You see how a lot people do that, don't they? <laughs> they see you be in the middle of a goddamn live video and they will call your phone. What's the lust card look like to you? The lust card look like a. Mm. Then my legs spread wide. <laughs> right. It looks like it's having a good time. This is what's needed in the relationship. Everything else is in reverse except Faye Dunaway, which is a card of fun, and the lust card, which is a card of ecstasy. Pretty much brought on by sex. Mm -hmm. um, get the fuck in your man, honey. Lynn can show you some things. You know, she'll be eating pickles like a motherfucker. I would love to do a dick sucking class. That would be, that'd be so bomb. That would be bomb. <laughs> I'll be right back. Pound the gavel while I'm away. Boots will be back. He will be back. Yes, ma'am. So, um, give us one purple heart and... Your question beside it. One purple heart and your question beside it. Okay? So that Excuse way. Me. Okay, everybody. Welcome to Dick Sucking Class. This is my friend Pinky. Um, she's clean. She's new. She's fresh out the pack. Okay. Um, Lynn, I'm going to give this to you. Oh. Sexual. <laughs> I'm gonna turn my head. Show them what you're capable. I of. actually have a dick popsicle in the bag. Yeah, <laughs> I just bought one. Expenses. I did. Yeah. Lynn, do us the honors. Show us what you're capable of. <laughs> Y'all can't get that. Okay. I can't give them that, boo. Okay, we're not going to give them that now. <laughs> <laughs> I was just seeing how long, how far your limits was been able to be pushed, child. Okay, so we got... Whew, Lord, uh, uh, pa pa pound the gavels. Pound the gavels. Whew. All right, let's go. Next question. Give me one, best friend, before I lose All my right. mind. Yeah. <laughs> look, okay, look. <little> Sting. <laughs> can't blow off. <laughs> I can't. Okay, give me another question, best friend, if you don't mind. Will I get my dream job? Dream job. Really bad. Girl, we should get a dream job. Yeah. Um, 
This is a yes. The psychic card is upright, so your future is not necessarily fixed. The nan card shows up upright off the rip, so this to me feels like you're going to experience mad loss, maybe a loss of the passion before you actually start to execute it. And the reason why is because you're not you're not working toward it. You are stuck in the redundancy of a 9 to 5 occupation, and you don't have any breathing room to rest or try to execute a passion at all. What you're going to have to do is carve out one hour. If you can give me one hour out of your day to focus on what you want to do rather than what you have to do and being tired, then I right. think that you can progress this process. This looks like the next two to three years uh, with the dream job. But they, hey, that's sooner than, you know. But they got to really make an effort. You have to make yeah. an effort. Yeah. Talk about the effort that you make into your career, my friend. Um, The effort I make in my career, you know, I just really thriving, you know, nonstop. Like, I, I barely want to sleep. I want to work more than I sleep, mm -hmm. you know. And what's work look like for you? This is creating content online. This is securing the bag, booking. Right, things, work, and work. Um, I'm, I'm getting gigs here and there, you know. And, um, of course, you know, I'm working for, you know, my YouTube or whatever. And just really just pushing myself. Like, I just, I can't fall down. I, I have to push myself because, you know why? You Others not going to push you the way you're going to push yourself. Mm. True stuff. And what I attempt to give people is just that boost of courage, that boost of confidence, so that they are able to push themselves to where they see themselves mm -hmm. at. No shade. Um, let's come over here to my Facebook real quick. General written for Amari. Um, the pan card shows up in reverse upright. What that look like? Amari, that's my bad. Uh, I see, like, is, are these horns? Mm-mm. Them wings. Wings. Okay, wings. Uh, I see more like... Self in the mirror, I kind of look at uh, come to me. This is true. This is Pan. This is a reflection of Lucricity in my tarot deck, okay? Um, Pan being upright. I forgot her question. What was her question? Amari. I had got Amari's question. Right. Amari, whatever your damn question was, the pan card is up white. I got lost in the explanation, girl. I apologize. Um, but this card is a card of lucidity, and it's a card of good luck being amongst you as of right now as well, too. That can be in a testament to your karma, Amari. Life reading. Okay, so this is right in the correlation with what she's talking about. This right. is money. This is lucidity. This is well-deserved income. Pan has planted seeds of gold in between gold bricks. And what's growing in between there? Trees. Trees. I mean, I think that finally you're bearing fruit to the things that you income. want and it's going to be uh, your responsibility to delegate the income to make you more money. Invest in yourself at this moment in time. You have the right to do that. Lynn, give me one, girl. All right. Who got one, Tam? <laughs> Lynn didn't want to get up. <laughs> <laughs> Lynn, say up. General, uh, general love reading. From I am Mo Brown 46. I am Mo Brown 46. I am Mo Brown 46. Brown 46. General, oh, love reading. Hey, <laughs> this is good. That's your mama. Mm. Hey, Ma, how you doing, sweetie? Your mama on here? Hey, Ma. So. That was your mama? Okay. Is Ma married? She's not. She's not. Is she trying to be? She's was she married? Ooh. Was okay. The was the relationship 14 years? Close to what? Close to 14. Ooh, we got love coming, girl. Girl, yes, you do. And you deserve it. The Carmen card shows up upright, which is a card of karma in my tarot deck. The Rumans card shows up upright as well here too, which is a card of pure romance. And the fact that it's upright is amazing. The Spirit card shows up upright, which is a card of soulmate energy. And Brandy shows up in reverse, which means, Mom, you really don't feel like you deserve true love as of yet. I need you to get over this 14-year-long, 15-year-long relationship that you were in so that you can usher in your new partner. He's right around the corner, just in time for cuffing season. Girl. Just and make sure I pick out your wedding cake, girl. Okay, just let me be there and I'll read the girls at your wedding or whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, seriously, to let the love in, you got to let the hurt go. Understand what I said. To let the love in, oh you God. have to let the hurt go. A lot of folks don't understand that. They don't, they don't know how to let hurt go mm -hmm. and let something new come in your way. Come into your life. You have to. You can't hold on to your past. You can't hold on to another. She said, wow. <laughs> she said, well, I think that's a receipt. By the way, if you are watching on Lynn's platform, which I suggest that you guys do, it's at Lynn Spirit. If you've ever got a reading from me and it was accurate, give me crystal ball emojis and tell them about your experience. Do it now over on Lynn Spirit's Instagram if you guys don't mind. I'm very good at what I do, darling. Yeah. With that being said, the month of October is pivotal for moms. I think that she might be talking to this individual and not really. I think he's trying to get at her right now. She's like, no, ma'am. Um, if he hasn't happened, if that hasn't happened yet, it's happening this month with before the fourth week of June 2019. And going into October, here comes the bride. Let them in, mama. Let them in, girl. Wait, Talk to me about letting them in. My, dad? my daddy getting married in October. I'm channeling the wrong spirit. I don't know. Your dad is getting married in October. So this is a semi-receipt. I'm in the category. I feel like mom has a, a love elevation, too, around that time as well. They're not the same horoscope, are they? No. Okay, praise God. Because no, that would have no, been really cataclysmic. Yeah, no, no, no. They're not? No. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, Mom, October when he's getting married, you getting some. Period. Get the gavel. Yeah. 
okay? Um, let's come up here to my Instagram. I have been kind of neglecting y'all. I'm so sorry. General Reed, and please, and thank you uh, for Tawana. Hey, Tawana, how you doing? The uh, T'Challa card shows up in reverse, and everybody knows T'Challa is my cat. Did you like my cat? Yes. I did. Isn't he a sweet baby? Sweet baby. And you don't even like cats. I don't like cats. But this bitch is awesome. <laughs> T'Challa's that shit. To I'm a dog lover. Dogs. <laughs> I've had enough dogs in my world. T'Challa shows up in reverse. This is a card of de-evolution. Going back, reverting back to something that could have or could have not served you in your livelihood. What I suggest that you do is before you revert back to hustling, prostitution, or sucking dick, you look at what you, where you come. You come from that place. You don't have to go back. But if you, may, if you need to, we all got tricks in our past that we can always serve. We all went there, sweetie. We all what? We all went there You before. speak for yourself, bitch. I'm still... Call me. My mom called me. It's all good. Check. you want to put your phone on Do Not Start? You can do that? Yeah, you scroll down on your thing on the left-hand side, and you're going to hit the little moon button. What phone is this? Y'all give me a moment. It's iPhone. Okay. Y'all give me a moment. Okay, so scroll... <sighs> so we got laying together. And Sorry, I need to get this angle together, because it's been getting on my nerves this whole time. They've been calling me. Calling, calling, calling. But you don't... Down. There you go, sweet. All right, cool. So real quick, let's take a side step. Let's talk about something real quick. Mm -hmm. Cloud chasers. Oh my god, let's talk about them. Let's talk about them. So what is your, what's been your experience? Uh, cloud chasers. You know, I I mean, I feel like I have certain people that's coming in in my life. You know, like those certain kind of guys who who want that attention. And these are men. These are men. Shit. I wish I had your problem. Keep going. So <laughs> Uh, they have that. They. I feel like I have those kind of men that want that attention. And they so betrayed their oh they're straight and all of this but uh -huh. you like the attention that you you like this attention that you're getting from this platform that I'm getting is that what that is they're attracted to the platform and not necessarily to you yeah they're attracted to the platform but you're not attracted to me Understood. and I can see I can see right through your monkey ass period period this is my experience I guess I um I don't know my my platform is growing for sure. I'll say that I attracted somebody last year who I dated or whatnot, but he had a platform too. So I didn't really understand like kind of the clout chase of it all, right. if you will. Um, but what I'll say is as of right now, I mean, Cardi had it right. People do anything for clout. Anything. Don't you know, they? and I think people oh definitely if you look on Warsaw, you you like those I mean, kind of people. goddamn. And I think that people confuse sometimes, you know, somebody who's having a business transaction with somebody like this is a business. I booked you to be here. You right. know what I'm saying? But it's beneficial for you, it's beneficial for me. Right. I mean, and I think it's a mutualism. That's not clout chasing. No, and see what that, I, that's I was, building a business. You know I, what I'm when saying? When I came in the in the game, I wasn't really looking at clout. I was looking at I want to be somebody. Yeah. I want to be known. And I'll tell you with me, I just wanted to express myself. Honestly, yeah. I wanted to express my creativity, my music, my talent. Yeah. And I think that associating with people who, I guess, had an audience was, def it's definitely a desire of everybody's. You know, you want to be seen with the who's who and the, what's happening so that it gives you credibility about what you're doing. But it's ways that you can go about doing it that ain't going to hurt nobody. Like, right. you out here, goddamn, blowing fire out your vagina. Okay. <laughs> to get some attention. And what people don't realize, last thing I'm going to say, Attention don't equal money. No, it don't. Okay. I know somebody has over damn near a million followers that live at home with their mama. But they be finessing in these cars and these clubs and shit as if they got it going on. Or living a small ass. And then I also know somebody who has a hundred followers that's making well over a million dollars a year. So it's like, what what does attention in 2019 really mean? What does it mean? I think that it's glamorized so everybody wants to be an Instagram model and post their talent on Instagram and do all this other stuff. But everybody ain't qualified to be an influencer. No. Not no, nowadays. No, not nowadays because <laughs> I thought you do have certain ones. It's like, bitch, you born. Like, I don't know. Fuck, I'm with you, you know. But it's like you you have those influence, but they just be like so stuck in this one element. Mm -hmm. You know, like with me personally, I'm saying I, I give you more different elements. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not just giving you motivation. I'm giving you motivation. I'm giving you ratchet. I'm giving you love. I'm giving you looks. I'm giving you all. I'm giving you everything that I can give you a part of me. Agreed. You know, because I want you to see the in and the out. And the thing is, those individuals who move authentic in that journey, they're going to eat. While the people who've been faking from point A to point Z, you're going to fall and crumble. It's in the cards. It's in the stars. And it's just the way the world works. You yeah. sow bad seeds, a bad tree going to grow no matter how big it is. Mm -hmm. Period. That 
Next question. Let's come over here. Uh, when will I get pregnant for Selena Ortiz over here on my Facebook page? Let's Girl, see what's going on. That's what I felt, honestly. And if you look at this card right here, who that? A baby. A baby. I feel like you might be pregnant too. Go ahead. You, you take it. Go get a chest. Go, go, you go, have go on an M with this. Yes, I have on an M. Um, and let me tell you about this, Emmett. Um, I went to mm -hmm. uh, Houston, Texas. You know, it was a reason that I, I had to go to Houston, Texas. So, uh -huh. Uh -huh. before I left Houston, um, this was, I went to a store or whatever, right? Uh, like, like one of them spiritual stores whatever. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And this break necklace was swinging on a tree. And it caught my eye. Like, it was swinging. Like, I, I didn't touch it. It was just swinging. And it caught my eye. And um, I had to get it. And it was my, it's my birthstone color too, as well. So I had to get it. It called me. When something like that calls you, you gotta get it. <coughs> and she got. <coughs> and I almost got <coughs> got by that damn vapor. <coughs> this stone called my name. It actually really called my name. And I had to get it. I had to take it off since. I love it. It's beautiful. Amethyst is a very connective stone. So that's why when you said, is she pregnant or not? I looked down and I saw a stone. And with this, connects you to your higher self. Right. So, um... Uh, inside, to be honest, right now, I feel very emotional inside. Like, I feel very emotional. Oh, you f right now? Right now. Like, I, I can probably cry at this Right point. now? Mm -hmm. Why? I don't know. I, it just... It, it, the weed? The weed almost had no, me tear up, too, bitch. I, it's not the weed. I'll tell you the truth. You know, I just... I don't know. Like, I feel very connected to my stone and just myself and just, you know, just... Well, this is Emerald. One of them days. Meet her. She's a pure emerald. How she feels to you? Heavy and just... <laughs> she wears the weight of the world, honey. Yes. Grounding. Grounding, honey. She would just put you down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no shame. No, Lynn, this is a safe space. So if you feel like crying, if you feel like laughing, yeah. honey, make your... Well, and, and we haven't even gotten into your reading yet, but I am sure that um some emotional things might might surface, and that's okay. You feel free to express, oh, okay? Yes, I will. Um, again, I'm here Monday through Friday, 9 o'clock p.m. Chat. If y'all ever want to kick it with me um, and become a client, a friend, a fan of mine, you're more than welcome to do so. Uh, the receipts speak for themselves, darling. And um, Lynn, you ready for your reading? I'm ready as ever. Okay, so you've never been, well, you, you have been read before by a spiritual advisor who reached out to you yeah. and, um, like, saved your life. And I'm not in no way, shape, or form trying to step on her toes because I know when people have attuned themselves to a particular psychic or mm -hmm. a particular medium or spiritualist, they tick to, they tend to be loyal, well, like, yeah. like a hairstylist or a nail yeah. technician. But me, I'm, I'm very open minded. Okay, you know, you're open minded. Like people, people have gifts. Cool. Anyway. Well, it's definitely no disrespect to um, the individual <coughs> who reads Lynn. Um, as they say, um, there's room enough for everyone. It really is. And um, I aim to do this very respectfully, with love, with compassion, and hopefully we get some good stuff done today. Right. Okay. Uh, with that being said, you guys, we are about to get ready to read Lynn. I'm going to play a song really quickly. We're going to take a good two minutes. going to step off step for two seconds. I just need to clarify if she doesn't mind if I dig a little deeper uh, with her, and I need to know the extent of how, she want, how far she wants me to go. Uh, with that being said, I hope you guys are going to stay tuned in. This is also from my album, Eden. The name of this song is called Maxine. I hope you enjoy it. Um, and follow me on all social media platforms. We'll be right back with more Lynn Spirit. Yep, we'll be right back. Your mama is awesome. Get into Maxine. Maxine. She's the baddest bitch on that tape. That tape. She's the baddest bitch on the dance floor. Oh, baddest bitch in that street. That street. She's bring up a kitty on that beat. That street. She's she fierce boots on her feet. Uh, she classy with it and so sassy with it. She's a tactical killer and then back on the door. She got a nag for a reason. Then why you niggas she tip and she tip. Slowing out the house with one of your birds. Hopping to another nigga born again. Uh, yeah. Acting like she ain't spit her making a meme. Uh, yeah. Pulled out the tool. Tizzy pops too. Smack single hands on the way to Berlin. Uh, she is the one. She got the fun. She gets it done when she has a feel thing. She got the hands. She got the hands. She's still the man. She don't give a damn when she handles her business. She is the one. She's got the fun. She keeps it done when she handles her business. She got the hands. She's still the man. She don't give a damn when she handles her business. She gotta get right now. Wait, 
strange. She always stay red. Homie, she always got that. She shoots all the shooters. Her breasts are robust. Her horse go kind of crazy though. She's a Gemini. Say what she be dipping and dipping and doing better than a stool. Don't be higher than flying over the beach. She a player, a player, a player. Couldn't even say she's a goddess. I'm making cake. Homie, like a man. She don't count the time. She ain't looking for nothing. She's just a player. Hey, what's up, Jay? Hey, what's up, Jay? Hey, what's up, Jay? This camera getting on my nerves. I love you too. She about to get ready. She about to get ready. Lady in a refill and we ready. She gotta get her black lid. Tell everybody, I was just, um, you know, ushering in the spirits with my tambourine. Did you hear my tambourine? I did. It sounded good. Bitch, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, welcome back to Boots Tell everybody. We are currently broadcasting live on my Instagram page as well as my Facebook page as well as Lynn's Instagram page. Uh, this is Lynn Spirit. Reintroduce yourself, sweetie. I am Lynn Spirit. I am the biggest internet sensation star of the LGB. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so Lynn, I'm going to read you with a tarot card deck of my own design. This is called Boots Tarot. Okay. Uh, you will not be able to find this tarot deck anywhere on the internet except my website, spiritsquad.org. So if you want to reference any of the cards that are pulled tonight, you are more than welcome to do that. Again, it's www.spiritsquad.organization. O-R-G. Um, and uh, yeah, feel free to explore the website and we'll see what we get done today. Um, Marcus, questions, please. You get three free on me. Okay. Well, my first question is, um, uh, okay, thank you, best friend. I need, I need to get a drink on this. Take your time. Okay. My first question, um, uh, will, you know, you're, you're, it's like a genie, you get three wishes. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you got to listen to it right. Not a Jenny. I'm the Jen. Okay. Um. Okay. Well, first, first one then. Uh, would I ever find love in someone? You found it once before, correct? And that individual almost took you for a longer ride than he took you. Um, is this when you were a teenager? Probably so, you know. One moment. <clears throat> okay. Um, there are multiple lovers here. You've been in love one time, correct? Just once. Everybody else you had developing feelings for, but you weren't as deep yeah. off with them. But there's this one individual, and I feel like he has two A's in his first name. If I'm not mistaken. Or this could be a first and last name. Mm -hmm. uh, two people. You were keeping a secret from yeah. this individual. Okay. And it's a deep off secret too. Which I don't know if you ever told him what it was. Um, this is something very harbored with you. And it caused you a lot of disdain as you were trying to date or court in other individuals. Mm -hmm. And it's almost like you had a heightened sense of paranoia in terms of dating. <laughs> Um, upon the natural insecurities that were there, the feral card is upright. This you uh, having some differences uh, of the norm from everybody in society. We know these differences already. You flunked them. They're absolutely okay. Mm -hmm. But I do feel like on top of you is this wasn't your fault. Okay. Well, like and, he is probably. Yeah, this was his fault. And and I feel like he didn't honor who you were. That is the guiding force of where you're going. This is before all of this, mm -hmm. you know. So this is like that's like that's kind of like the guiding force as to where you're trying to go. Did anything happen in the month of February? Were you expected to do something on Valentine's Day with someone and it didn't? Go? I actually was. To be honest, I was really was, and it didn't go through. And this was an individual you were diving a little further deeper with. Yeah. Than, okay, so there are two moments. There's this individual last Valentine's, and then there's this one in your past. To answer your question effectively, though, Lynn, true love is all around you. All you got to do is reach out and grab it. I feel like you're holding yourself back from grabbing too much because I of am. fear. Yeah. I like and you. it's fear from this stuff over here. But <coughs> your happy ever after is the next person that you date. For real date, not just, you know... Yeah. P uh, uh, play with. This individual is surfacing in November, and it might be a repeat of this person if they get themselves together. Because you're still communicating with this person, correct? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, but he's with someone, though. Are they Lynn? She, he's with she. But he's is she Lynn? No. She's not Lynn. Neither is mine with that muskrat looking bitch. Oh my god, it's so They will never be us, but they will always remember the best they've ever had. Yeah. And you, not only with your no teeth on that thing, <laughs> as well as the way you court people and treat people. Right. He, he He's craving that. He wants that back. Um, Again, you're adjusting yourself accordingly. The Phoenix card does show up upright. So, again, I do feel like this might be this individual. This happens in November. It's later on in cuffing season. But, mm -hmm. honey, you strapped up with somebody. And I can't wait to log on to your page and see you coded up with some man next to you. Talking about some girl. I got him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. And it's no shade. That is wow. Next know. question. Okay. <laughs> next question. Um, Will. My next question will be. Um. How is life going to turn out to me in the next future? So, you want to know just, like, the overall future of, like, how things are going to develop for you? Yeah. Uh, and is this in all aspects? Love, entertainment, career, all this? Yes. Okay. All in one. Mm. <laughs> hey, hey, that card has been coming up all night for you. And that was the card that Megan the Stallion pulled, too, the lust card. It shows mm -hmm. up upright. This is a grand wanting. Um, first, before we talk about your future, I'll talk about your past. You fell into this. You fell into this, honey. You fell into this and took it by its horns and said, look, fuck it, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Um, you had trusted people by your side. The light chief card shows up upright. And as you can see, light chief has a lot of trusted companions, honey. So I think, honestly, you have a divine light on you, which it's almost like you can see danger, mm -hmm. <laughs> but danger don't da danger don't come after you. It's a right. very protective spirit that is here uh, with you. Is this your grandfather? Uh, Male? Probably so, yeah. My grandfather, he did that. What's his name? Um, Rob. Spirit. Yeah. Rob is in the building, honey. He has your back. This being the guiding force of your existence, 
only the best for Lynn, child. And I think that when he transitioned, um, even if, even if this was when you were really young, which it looks like you were, you had this protectiveness over you. About to get beat up, you don't get beat up. About to, the club gets shot up and you decided not to go. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you get into a deep off into a situation, but you don't give all yourself so you're not as hurt. Um, the word that I will go to in terms of, to answer your question, where your future is going to go, is an enlightened space that will feel similar to heaven on earth in the next seven years. Okay, based upon this energy that's guiding you and telling me to shut my mouth, because I think your grandfather was a Christian and he is telling me to shut the hell up. He don't want to talk to me. He don't want to talk to me. But that's okay. Um, he's guiding, guiding your path as well. You also have three people that look up to you, very much so. Um, and it's almost taboo. They'll never admit it. <laughs> <laughs> but I see them very predominant in your in your reality as well here too. Okay. Um, there's this insecurity here that stems from your childhood, and I think it deals with social situations. Are you socially? Do you have social anxiety? Like what? Like what? Like, like when you go out somewhere, or do you do you feel like you have to have somebody with you, or like yeah, or like yeah. comforted uh, yeah. with you? It feels kind of lonely sometimes, you know. Like going out public. Well, you know where the fuck I stay at, right? Right. <laughs> Come over here. <laughs> I get you together. Um, I'm, I'm always out by myself, but they like, you know, you just like you yeah, don't have nobody to go with you, go here and there, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm gonna show you something. This is the best lipstick I ever got, child. You ever get nervous about being in public? Ooh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, true love is here. Um, you have a major, a major, uh, uh, in the next, I'm going to say this is April of 2021. I just would be weary about the investments that you made. Okay. Somebody going to be asking you for a lot of money for something, a project, uh, endeavor, bullshit. Don't do it. Okay. I will write this down in your phone and set an alarm for <laughs> April 2021. This is some. This is a finesse down here as well. Um, not too much heartbreak goes on or ill feelings go on over here. This is your arc. This guides your path. This is like you dodging bullets left and right. I need some of your energy, honey. Leave that amethyst with me. Okay. Um, Ruman's is up here too. True love. Okay. True love. And I think that's the card you might want to take with you home, huh? The Ruman's card. The Ruman card. The who card? The Ruman card. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, Give me one final question. And my, my next question is, are the right people are coming in my life for my best interest? Who I have in now. So the, you want to know if your, if your starting lineup is, is, right. is all right? Okay. Right. Ooh, I don't trust that bitch. I don't trust that motherfucker. Ooh. I don't trust this bitch. Number four. Remind Number four. This is uh the color red. So if you have any red relevances to anybody, they wear a lot of red. They see red. They get angered very easily. Um, this is somebody mm. who, if they don't get their way, they hold you and everybody else accountable. They Ooh. don't accept responsibility for their that actions. Sounds like um, and but knows. but this is somebody that's very generous though and smiles in your face a lot. If you look at the card. Ooh. Oh my God, they right. Oh my God. <laughs> Her wig is moving like Myrtle, honey. You know what I'm talking about, girl? Um, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is actually a demonic snake of my tarot deck. Oh my God. So I don't trust this bitch. Okay, right here. And I think they've been in your life for quite some time. And I think they left for a minute. They came back with the jump off. They have. Came back with the jump off. And, Recently. And I don't think their intentions are up here. And um, okay, now family A one. Okay, y'all argue, y'all bitter. They always gonna be there. They're right. by your side. Um, I think this best friend, best friend be going through some shit. <laughs> I feel like this you best friend, you be, <laughs> best friend you be going through some shit. But yeah. you guys are each other's hex wrestler. It's almost like me and my best friend Tama. Yeah, like you know we understand each other so well that when one is down, the other one's up high so much that it brings them up. Another person's down. Both y'all like y'all finna cry. What's wrong with y'all? <laughs> I, it's, it's a it's emotional night right now. Are y'all drunk? No. It's not even alcohol. I think it's like... It's, is it's, it my house? This is a good spirit it's, that's in here. Yes. The very, energy. Very. Do you feel the presence of spirits in my house? Yes. I really, really do. Uh -huh. You know, I feel, very, I feel very emotional. Like, I really do. I feel very emotional. Like, it's a you know how that emotional, just, though. It's a happy... It's a happy emotion that you want to just let out. And it's just... Yeah, it's you want to scream. Yeah. 
<laughs> I know you said we get. I get three, but you I can get I, one more in. I want to whisper this one in your ear. Okay, give me a second, and I'm gonna finish this one. Okay. Boots left scenes and versus. Don't be afraid. My cat just rolled up on you right there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, Boots Levinson is in reverse. So this is somebody that you forgave and is on the right path. I think you're more skeptical about this person than this person. And I think this, you need to, they're okay. They okay. got your back. They fucked up. They know they fucked up. I feel bad for fucking up. Uh, as I channel this energy, but they don't mean harm. They they really got your best interest at heart. And I feel like they might be fairly new in comparison to the rest of these motherfuckers. Right. Okay. So the right people are there. Be very discerning about this pop up pop tart looking bitch. Yeah. Looking like a goddamn cardboard box trying to walk into your life in and out. You know of your who life. you are. Do they know who they is? They. I don't think they know who they is inside and out. You know what I'm about to ask you to do, baby. And she grabbed the blunt. <laughs> she grabbed the blunt and said, <laughs> Okay, cool. Are you guys having a good time? If you guys are, like the video on Facebook. Love the video down here on Instagram. Um, and you got about two minutes left on yours, Lynn. Are you going to come right back for the people? Yeah, I'm going to come back. Okay, she's going to come right back for the people. I have one more, like, one more quick question. She one got one more quick question. And I think we can get it in. And you want to know the advancement? If, if, if he's right for me or not right for me. In my life. No. Um, He's never going to be to the point where he can... Uh, I mean, if you want like a down, down uh, low, not show anybody who your man is type of situation. Nowhere near that. Okay, but if you... <laughs> how can I put this? If it's almost like you have to hide his emotions from the world. Yeah. And if you got to do that, then I don't think this is going to be a fruitful situation. There's not a card down here that suggests that this is anything more than a little bit of fun, girl. The wild one is upright. And what that look like? Crazy. Right. Mm -mm. I got my answer right there. Okay. But love is there, though, Lynn. It was in your life path reading. You are navigating toward love. Everybody say that right down there below. I am navigating towards love. I am navigating to love, honey. Again, my name is Boots Tarot, and this has been Lynn Spirits Re you like this song. Ooh, I'll play it. Real girl. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to play You Better off my album real quick, and then we're going to bring Tammy. We're going to do the switch, okay? You're going to like this song. Right away. You got no damn breath. Still fucking in the morning, still fucking at night. Still fucking in the kitchen, then we fucking on the couch, and now we fucking in the car, even yeah, fucking in the dark. Fucking in the daytime, fucking in the park. Fuck you in the daytime, fuck you in the night. Fuck you so good, you don't know what's right. You try to fuck me in the church? Wait a minute, I pray. I did try to do that one time. Fuck you, Lord, tell me. I gotta fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you better fuck.
<laughs> okay, so that was fucking two now. Okay. Yeah. That's last feedback. Low beginner. You need you know, you know, you know. I'm gonna stand there. <laughs> oh the child get the tree, the whole tree. The whole tree. The whole tree. The whole damn tree. Welcome back to Boost Channel, everybody. Thank you guys for a messy, messy, messy live Instagram video. We're gonna finish the night out. That way. That way. <laughs> Oh. That's how we're gonna do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are you drinking? We got some wine. A little bit of red brown wine. wine. Merlo. <laughs> Merlo. Merlo. She gets low, low. <laughs> Man, you damn crazy, child. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing changed with your ass. Here, let's cheers. You got some in your cup. Yeah. What is this cheers for? This year is a celebration of growth, living life, and just being a humble, spiritual, and just. And masturbation. Yes. That's all. Because if it wasn't for masturbation, and I'm horny tonight, <laughs> you got to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you want some more other shit. For masturbation and concentration, no constipation, okay. no diarrhea. This is for lustfulness, mm -hmm. but also generosity. And speaking of, I need you to pick a winner in this contest. And right? I released myself before I came here, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Lynn, what? I did. I well, really you were trying to figure out why I was late. I did the Woo! same thing. Cheers. I was in my cell. Cheers, bitch. Cheers. I came here. I said, bitch, I need a nut Ooh. off. I need this nut off. Oh, Give man. me nut emojis. I had to release this <laughs> nut. We got to release the cracking on that ass, bitch. Yes. Oh, okay, let that bitch I was on Tumblr, girl. Oh, you was on what? Tumblr. Right. Tumblr? Get me, oh, girl. Like, oh, girl. Get me, girl. Yeah, What's your hoes be like? My hoes? Mm. They be like real nasty. You got hoes but like, like, But like, they, they dicks can't keep hard, though. I can't, they, they can't keep their dicks up. I understand. Now, look, I got me a set five. I got I me a starting line I need some, some couple twenties. I need some twenties. You need twenties on what? 20 year olds. Tw I mean, no, no, no. I'm talking oh. about not five year olds, oh. Lynn. I'm talking about a couple, like five of them. Oh, I, I have mean, five. I have a select five. I got, well, each I, category. I got one that can't keep his dick up. The other one, he only connect one time. The other one, he get tired easy. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I understand. I need well, some young ones. I was talking about, like, you know, I have a Latina hoe. I have a black hoe, I have a white hoe. I got two white, well, one of them is mixed, mm -hmm. and then I got another mixed one, and they all serve a different purpose. Like, I know one of them coming from the south side, so uh -huh. if I need him to bring me something like, you know, more, um, like some uh, Merlot that you're drinking right now, right. Uh, he, he, will, he will do that, you right. know, as well as to give me some hair. Then I got one that'll cut the grass and give me some hair. Which one do you think that is, the black or the Hispanic? Or the That's white? the Hispanic. Show leaves? Right. I mean, I got one hoe, <laughs> you know, he's every now and then, he's chocolate black, but he can't keep his dick hard. Uh, the is it hole. big? Cause that hurt, that's a problem. Now yeah. I have a big thing, yeah. but I got a problem like the, the second hole. He's you know Puerto Rican, little mix with Puerto Rico. You know he only can bust one time, and the third hole just he get tired. He's, and I'm just like fuck it. I'm the one that's got the hardest sensation. And the other hoes that I used to fuck with, I, I massage them and I don't hear from them no more. You, you gotta stop massaging. I, I learned this a long time ago. You gotta stop massaging these niggas, honey. You start, you give them a massage, honey. That's how I get them in. <laughs> I mean, that used to be my tactic. I ain't gonna lie to you. You know, they, they not used to all this geese or whatever. You know, they come in, they come in, you all are feminine and stuff. Uh, let me give you a massage. Just open you up. Just you know what I'm saying? Rub them in that sucker's dick and then they can nut. I be want to ride. Let me get on top of the dick. Let me ride on the motherfucker real quick for you next. Now, as soon as I get to ride, he's like, oh, baby, mother, you got the net already? I just got on the goddamn dick. Damn, you got the net already? Goddamn. Man, yeah. man, man. I need new niggas. I need Miami niggas. Whew. I went to Miami. I need Miami niggas. Oh, God. Miami, Miami. niggas is something. These never come out of niggas ain't shit. I need Miami. I need Miami dick. Oh God, I would do some things to Miami dicks. Yes. Me and best friend done ran these niggas locked the goddamn gun. <laughs> we did. We done ran these niggas with my fuck baby too. <laughs> you fuck who? <laughs> what did she say? Oh, that was T. That was T. I don't know what she said. Girl, smell the earth. I heard what she said though. But don't worry, mm -hmm. I ain't no messy bitch, and I ain't gonna repeat that. But we might have the truth. That's great. 
We done ran through them, girl. No, no, no. On P.O.F. So, there's so many on P.O.F. P.O.F. and the chat line. Oh, y'all some goddamn hoes for real. Oh, we was no, out no. there. We, we, we was traveling. Was back in the day. We was yeah, traveling, we, hoes. Traveling. <laughs> we were called on the line. We were traveling to the dick. <laughs> Whether it was in Gaston, in my Holly, or we was traveling to the dick. Go get some more wine. <laughs> y'all were out here feeling we was, we was traveling to the dick. And they paid us. They paid us to came to goddamn. They us. We was getting cradles, you know, mm -hmm. in and out. We were rocking the cradle every now and then, you know. We would suck their dicks and fuck them and say, hey, we're men! And pull off. <laughs> we're men and we pull off. <laughs> After such an inspirational reading. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get up on this goddamn live video and talk about your damn whole ass press. See, I was trying to keep up with your ass, Lynn. Yeah. I was trying to keep up, but I don't, you know, I can't say, well. I've been out here living. You know, I can say that. I've been out here living. Maybe that's what I have been living, you know. That, to be honest, that's when really taught me how to live. That's when really that's taught me you turn that thing into that. Not really into that. Best Ben like, taught me how to live. Basically, basically live. Best Ben got I, a rental car and we were fucking. This is what your best friend did. What best friend did? We were getting rid of fucking nigga, right? Yeah. Let me tell you what best friend did. So, we was behind this building, right? Oh, and so, a <laughs> car was coming. Best friend left us in the car. Blue lights. And he really wanted all these, but best friend left us in the car. I jumped in the trash can, the big dumpster. Ain't no way in here. That's what I'm trying to get arrested. I'm not going to jail for what, what you call it when you out in the, in the parking lot stuck a dick? Fellatio. Okay, I don't want that. That man wasn't around when he did. <laughs> I said, best friend. Oh, shit. Oh, I said, oh. friend, this is beyond me. <laughs> this is beyond me, best friend. Best friend, 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 who the hell do I got on my show? <laughs> what the hell is going oh on? Oh my god. That's <laughs> red at the end. Let's not forget now when we hop that cab. <laughs> 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 Girl! This it was a cold morning. It was a cold we were, morning. Okay, so me and Best Man ready to train on this nigga. <laughs> and. We were in a train on this nigga. He, don't get wrong, he was cute. He had some nice good dick. And so, uh, at this time, my sister, we, we, we was kind of like going through our ups and downs, whatever. And I stole my sister's car to go get the dick, whatever. <laughs> and um, so we brought in the big guy. We fucked him oh, and all that. So, <laughs> when my sister realized her car wasn't in the driveway. She said she'll be dead. Huh? My mama said TMI, she'll be dead. What do you mean? She still watch. Oh. So, when my sister realized when her car wasn't in the driveway, she was like, where my car at? Which I told best friend to park in the goddamn driveway, but she parked on the street. So, um, so she was like, where my car at? So I, a car was in the street, whatever, because we were going to come back out, whatever. But I fell like a dummy and made a bump, <laughs> and my sister heard it. She thought somebody broke in that house. Right, right. And so, we had to call a cab. And to remind you, I was gonna let best friend them go by themselves. You know, the best friend was like, "Where you at?" I I'm said, like, "I think you leave me. You gonna let me get this cab by myself?" I'm like, "I'm coming, girl. I'm coming, girl." Which I, I really was coming. I was like, "I'm scared." <laughs> so they called the cab down the street, and uh, we got the cab, and they was like, "Look, we're gonna be okay." I was like, "Okay, cool." The cab, I was like, "It's gonna be extra more." We're like, "Okay, we got our money. Let me try that, whatever." Right. And so we. These two motherfuckers, they was on the door. I was in the middle. Mm -hmm. So they got out. I said, how much you insert? The bitch gave me like a prepaid car. Come on, let's go. She said, bitch, run! And I ran. And why did I pull the white girl move? I fell. Fell? 
soon as she got out the car. But the man, he didn't get out the car. He was talking with humongous. He did not get out the car. Y'all yeah, was about to fuck with a humongous man who couldn't no, get out no, the no. car? He no. Was, he was a cab driver. The date was in the car. He was a the cab driver. Okay. Was a cab yeah. driver. He didn't get out. He just kept following us around in the car. Right. And then we got on the city bus for free. For free. We was like, we're stringing. Can you please tell us someone been chasing us? It was... Oh, and then tell me why day. it's cold outside. Oh, happy So Ben went and got the bus for another nigga. Oh, happy Ben went got off the bus for another nigga. When Jesus was. And we walking in the when cold. When Jesus was. Yeah. When Jesus was. When Jesus was. That way. When Jesus was. When Jesus was. He washed my sins away. Oh, happy day. Oh, man. Oh, happy day. Oh, yeah. He. Lynn, I just want to thank you for such a brilliant, magnificent commentary yes. on the escapades that uh, you parlayed with. I can relate to a multitude of them. Mm -hmm. uh, I will say that it is very refreshing, refreshing to have someone very tranquil and expressive on my my show. Right. Um, you you are it, yes, ma'am. Um, but now we are gonna usher in best friend who was accomplice to all of your whole activities. AKA, I'm going to let you introduce her. Um, so give her a brilliant okay. introduction. And so this is my team. best friend from Come day on. one when I was a nobody <laughs> to somebody to that bitch that tried to who didn't want us to be best friends with who we are today. Uh, <laughs> um, my best friend, Tammy Taylor, who is my dearest heart, who is my everything, no matter what we go through. Tammy. Best friend! to the Boots Tarot set and the Boots Tarot show. Just like Lynn, you will get two you questions on trade, me. Man. She pulls all the trade, honey, yeah. according to Miss Lynn over here to my left. Um, and if y'all can't see her, she is over here. I'm here. She's here. She's right here. <laughs> um, and best friend is in too. If y'all are part of my crew, go ahead and screenshot for um, guest purposes. It's not wild for people, honey. Screenshot, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a great time with you. I'm going to repost it, too. You're going to repost it? Yes. Yeah, Girl, you got so many moments in here. I cannot wait to chop this video up. Now, Shay, best friend, what will be your three questions? The love life. The love life. Fall off your... He's more complicated than Liz. <laughs> That's the first thing I felt when you said love life. I was like, bitch, you got a lot of energy reeking over here. Okay, so lean into me a little bit so the camera can see you. Ask me a specific question about your love life. Or just a general read over Are it. Are we going to actually get married? Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yes. The answer to your question is yes. You had two attempts at the altar with this one individual, and I think he kind of mm -hmm. got cold feet on both tenses. Third time is the motherfucking what? Charm. The motherfucking who? Charm. Okay. <laughs> Third time is the motherfucking charm. Um, this does happen, and I feel like you're going into next year with a ring on your finger. Ooh, Next that's real, bridesmaid. <laughs> By the way, if this, if anything I ever say comes into fruition for you, that is called a receipt. So, um, I'll say I expect the receipt when it comes into fruition. It's, it's there already. <laughs> the two attempts have happened. Okay, there we go. Okay, cool. So, receipt there, and then 
it's a surprise. August. I, I'll give it away. August. August fourth week. Of, fourth week of August. I'm trying to August twenty seventh. The same day school used to start. That's why another day. <laughs> okay. Cool. Next question, best friend. Um, I don't know really know how to ask it, but that's about my brother who's passed away. Can I get a name? Lafon Brown. It's kind of the spirit. He's been gone since I was saying. Hand. Sis. Okay. So, multitudes of different things. Um, you guys look alike. That's the first thing. Y'all like favor each other. That's the first thing I'm picking up on. The color red is of significance once more. And this came up twice today with since I've been with you. The color red. I've always talked about this color that comes up with you. Did you have red roses in his cafe at his funeral or anything of this nature? Red roses were here. Um, have you recently changed your toothpaste? Okay. Um, this deals with the way that you communicate with him. This this was why you had the desire to change it. Um, you speak with him before bed, but I think you started speaking with him when you get up in the morning. Almost like it's a little different difference of a vibe, and this has happened over the past three years, or the past three months more more particularly. But the past three years have been a little bit more difficult in the grieving process. He died, um, two thousand nine or eleven. Seven. Seven. One second. Um, this is an image or a piece of um, an imprint of his physical self that you carry on your person. This could be a picture in your phone as your background, or this could be something that you um, attune yourself to on a daily basis. Something that always reminds you of him. I feel like it's a piece of jewelry, um, or this could be something adorned on yourself. What is that item? It's just him. <laughs> I have jewelry at you have who? Um, Ashes. Jewelry. Jewelry at, at your house. Okay, so do, do you wear the jewelry or what? What's the? Has it been moved recently? Mom, yeah, mom's changed her room around. She's changed her room around. Okay, so he's acknowledging the fact that the jewelry is being moved. So he's very much so vivid with you in terms of your spirit. Do you have any particular questions for him? Okay, okay, I'm picking up on something. Was there two officers involved with this? Ooh. Yes. yes. Two officers. Both of them dudes. Yeah. Both of them Caucasian. Yes. Fuck. Cop killing? Oh, man. I just got chills real quick. What about you? Yeah. Okay, so we on this journey <laughs> together. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Just to keep y'all interacting, give me um heart emojis for the deceased as of right now, if you don't mind. Prayer and heart emojis. What would be your biggest concern in terms of this energy? I feel like we are not settled. We are not... We're, we're trying to settle. Is this why you want me to channel this energy? Will we ever get justice? Justice is the question. Interestingly enough, this is the hourglass on um, my tarot card deck. This is actually the card of justice, but it shows up in reverse. On the current trajectory, I cannot say the answer is yes. The, the, the But the spirit is pleased. He's okay where he is. He's accepted where he is as of right now. And I think you'll find that when you, rem when you think about him, you don't Think about the injustice as much as you used to, as much as the spirit that was once involved in the physical realm. That's the transition happening. He's becoming at peace. It's making you become at peace. And the current trajectory is not here, but that doesn't mean it can't happen. We have to change our format. We've been dealing with a female prosecutor. You need a fire bitch, period. Bitch ain't ready. Bitch, 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 bitch don't care. We we got we got we have to we have to we have to we have to do something different. We have to do something different. If this is what you want, okay. Now, if this is what you want, spirit is saying go for it. You know what I'm saying? I got your back, but it's also saying if you don't want to, I'm still gonna be on the lake with you like I used to be. Okay. Um. So that's the that's what I say. We, if we change our tactic, it could happen. It could happen. Okay, and I want to commend you on your strength too, because carrying such grief can be a little difficult. Um, but just know, it, I don't know you from a can of paint. First time talking to you, my cat is acting a goddamn fool. Whoop him! Stop, boy! Pick him up. See if he'll come over here. He's not gonna scratch you regardless. He, he's anti. Leave him alone. Yeah. 
Um, my cat acts crazy when I channel spirit. But the fact that you don't know me from a can of paint, we just met. This is our first conversation about this, and I'm able to pull that kind of out. You did tell me you had a brother that was on the other side a moment ago, but I didn't know these details. Mm -hmm. And I just want to say that I appreciate you for that. Um, what would be your third question? My career, my my business that I'm trying to clean take business, off, take off with is, is that <laughs> I need to do. No, and I'll tell you why. You're selling yourself short. It hadn't it hasn't worked out, it hadn't worked out, and it ain't gonna work out because you're worth more than the cleaning business, period. And you know this. You just want something to call your own right now, huh? Aim higher. You're worth more. Everybody say down here, I'm worth more. I'm worth more. more. I'm worth more. Because <laughs> you can you can have more. Um, um, she's, a, she's a hustler for her ass. What'd you say? This friend is a hustler. Since I've been around this, this girl, <laughs> never, ever not had a job. Not, not, not ever had a car. Always had something going on. And that's why I know she can do... Oh, I feel so emotional. That's why I know she could do a whole lot more than what she can do today, whatever. So, I need to cry. Yeah. It's okay, Lynn. It's okay, baby. Safe space. Safe space. You good. I know my best friend is capable of a lot. Girlfriend always had a job, always had a car, always sit on her feet regardless of the facts. So I know my best friend is capable of more than what she thinks she's capable of in this world. And that's in, that's in the reading as well. That's in the reading as well. You know what I'm saying? So I would aim higher. Go back to the drawing board. And if you are convinced to do this kind of business, I ain't going to lie to you. It does work out because of your determination. You're not going to stop unless you get it going. Okay, so I'm not going to shoot your dream out the sky like that. But you're worth more than what you're giving yourself credit for. But, you, but again, belief governs us. So if we believe we're worth more, we, we will attain more. A cleaning business. Let's talk about owning <laughs> businesses where people clean for you and all you got to do is sit back and collect. Buy the equipment, flip that shit. But you got to start somewhere, of course, you know. Um, that's, that's what I say in terms of your cleaning business. All right. Guys, this has been fabulous. This is ass. <laughs> Are you crying over there? It's, it's like, I don't know, it's like emotion night for me. It is. You know. Why is it so emotional here? Here, I, I'm going to turn it around. I'm like, because, you know, a, a part of me doesn't really show this side, you know, as much as I want to. The um, serious side of you? Yeah, you know, like, I, I, I'm not sure my emotion side, but not as, as much as I would like to, you know, because I keep a lot of stuff balled up. Mm. But I think when I, when I love hard and I go hard, I think that's when it comes out, mm -hmm. you know. Well, I know I really believe in hard in somebody. You know, I believe in myself hard. This is what I believe in you hard as well. You know, and I believe in everybody watching this video just as hard as I believe in the two of you. And I just, you know, courted you and and, and met you. I think that we all have this synergy with one another that lifts each other up, and that's what gravitates each other to each other's platforms. That's what attracts people who don't know us from a can of paint, and it keeps everybody fueled up. It's a it's a mutualism, and when you find your tribe, honey, when you find your people. You know what I'm saying? The bond is unbreakable. And I hope to establish that bond with everybody watching tonight. And happy gay pride. Happy motherfucking happy gay, gay pride. pride. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so let's do what I typically do on 11 11. It is 11 11. Wow. Fuck. Okay, you guys lean in as tight as you can. Let's try to get a tight shot on this. Okay. Let me adjust your camera. Oh, please we, screenshot this. Okay. Please post. And what we're going to do is we're going to do an 11 11 really quickly. Um, this is what we do on my channel. Um, if you guys don't mind, is it 11 11? It's still 11 10. We can still get adjusted. Lynn, you get up in here. Yeah. Get up in here, Lynn. And if we go tumbling down, it's your damn fault. <laughs> Okay, so we're waiting on 11, 11 and we're just going to put up a wish. Um, just go to God in prayer or start meditating. Do whatever it is you do. All belief systems are welcome on my show. Um, and when I address God, I'm talking about the center source. No matter where you, how you access that source, whether it be Confucianism, Christianity, Buddhism, meditation, access the source as of now and let's go with me uh, to a prayer, wish, whatever you would like to call it. It is currently still 11, 10. Bro, this minute is long as hell. Okay, we're just counting down the clock, okay? 10, 9, oh, 11, there we 11. go. Close your eyes. Here we go. 
God of the universe, God of love, God of light, the creative energy that has manifested all of us on this physical reality. I want to say thank you and humblest grateful regards to Lynn as well as best friend who have blessed my live video and blessed me with able to block broadcast my show on their platform in a magnificent gay. I want to wish and I want to pray for everybody to fulfill the gratifying feeling I feel by being blessed by their presence. I also want to say that I wish that everybody shows generosity and gratitude for the things that they have as well as ambition for the things that they want to possess. Allow them to know that the energy inside of their spirit is just enough to get them to that next level no matter if they've been down, are down, or are coming out of being down. You were not down because it was unpurposeful. You were down to incubate that energy. Now that energy will fly like a butterfly and I wish and I pray that that energy elicts in them as of right now as they take off and accomplish their wildest dreams. And whosoever name you choose to attune this prayer, wish, whatever affirmation, whatever you want to attune it to, say that right down there below. I will say amen, I say namaste, and Yeshua Yahweh. What would you guys say? Amen. Amen. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I love you guys very much. And I'm about to play one last song of mine before I get out of here. Um, this song is wet. I think you're going to like this song. Okay. Too. Okay. Um, Locate it on my album. Follow me on social media and you'll get into it. I'll let you take it to the stage. I got some <laughs> I'm so turned on Ready to keep me to you Whether it's soft or rough Can't get enough You're a freak I am I know you want me to keep me to you Moist and shit I love you for free So passionate Tonight we won't regret anything that we say yeah. Or what we did So release your inhibitions and fears Alright y'all, peace! Yo!